Okay guys, I finally caved in and decided to do a boat. I know some of you guys have been waiting for over a year for me to do a boat tutorial and uh, it's because I've never built a boat before and uh, I didn't know if it would be any good. But I built a yacht, houseboat, whatever you want to call it, just a normal boat and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm not a boat builder, I'm a house builder, but um, hopefully this does the job. And uh, yeah, to all the people who have commented down below what they want to build, I'm sorry I've taken so long to build it, but hopefully you appreciate it now. Uh, so yeah, definitely slap the heck out of that like button, leave a comment um, with a build that you want in the future. Uh, so let's have a little look around at this awesome boat. I've actually built um, an oak mansion over there. I'll put that down in the description. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've got a nice yacht or houseboat, however you want to call it. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. Up here, we've got this. Down here, we've got some antennas there as well. We've got a little uh, booth in here, so we open up here and we're into this bit. It's got observer blocks and dispensers. If you don't have any of these and it's hard to get in survival, just don't put them in. Put a furnace in instead. Uh, I think you can get away with putting a furnace there instead. Just super easy. Let's take a look downstairs. So let's close this and we go down into the bottom part and uh, yeah, I've done all the interior for it as well. So yeah, we've got some chest space here and you can get up onto the front dock from down here. Um, I haven't actually seen any tutorials on yachts or boats before um, on YouTube. So I don't know how everybody else's will look. Um, so yeah, I've just done mine like this. I've done mine kind of survival friendly. Um, maybe it's not the best survival friendly it might not be your opinion but in my opinion it's pretty survival friendly um, I'm just using concrete blocks uh, spruce I've actually showed you where um, I put this black line in later so if you want to put it in now it's just the third level so if you want to put the third level as white just to here put an observer block at the bottom but yeah I think it's pretty cool I think it's a pretty cool yacht it's my very first yacht I've ever built so Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I've just done it next to this big mountain. I don't know what the seed is. Does this tell you the seed? Um, I don't know. Is the seed in there? If not, I'm sorry. But there you go. Okay, so guys, without further ado, let's build this yacht. Make sure you slap that like button. It took quite a while to build, but hopefully, yeah, you enjoyed it. I've got a time machine over there as well. It's not a time machine. I'm sorry I called it a time machine. It's a teleport machine. So yeah, let's do this. Oh my goodness. Right guys, so as you can see, I've got a nice little space here where I'm gonna put my modern boat or yacht or whatever you call it. Um, I'm gonna start off using the white concrete and I'm gonna be using quartz stairs. I'm gonna be using some snow caps to build up little bits, but you don't have to use the snow caps if you don't want to. Uh, we're gonna start off by building up until we've got a block here. I'm gonna do it out of the water and then we'll do the under the water bit first. So out of the water we're going to place one block i'm going to have this hovering underneath here because we're going to have some um stuff underneath that we'll do so it should be hovering above the water like this so we've got the one block and then we're going to start off and we're going to go diagonal to each side like this by two so we've got two there hopefully we've got that and then the next one would be diagonal out and then we've got three each um side one, two, three. If you want a tutorial on that over there, as you can see that big uh, oak house and uh, time machine thing, well, it's actually a teleporter over there. Uh, it teleports you from there to there or wherever you want to go in your world. I will make sure I put those down in the description so you can do that. Um, but anyway, next bit, we'll go up by one, two, three, four. I don't usually do these sort of boat tutorials or anything like this or vehicles, uh, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So we've got four each side, so we should have something like this. Should have a nice space also and then we're going to go out by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen this time and we're going to go diagonal out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so once we've done that we're going to go diagonal out by one and uh, no, we're going to go diagonal in this time sorry one like that and then we are going to place i think a stair behind here so we've been using our white concrete now we're going to use the quartz stair going back like that now at the back here you should have if i can um 
get some stairs underneath here. We're going to have a stair underneath here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So it should join onto that perfectly. We can work on the under stairs bit soon, but we're going to go on to the next layer. And the next layer, we're going to go diagonal out by one, just like that. So once we've done that, we're going to go um, two this time. So one, two should be resting on top of that. So diagonal to the side, one, two. And then the next one will be two again. So diagonal out one, two, diagonal out one, two. You'll have to let me know what you think to this boat because uh, I'm not really used to doing these sort of things, right? Let's change the time real quickly. So it's time set zero. Okay, so now it's diagonal out one, two, three, four. And we do the same here. Diagonal out one, two, three, four. So we've got four for that one. And the next one will be two. I'm getting a lot of things here. So one, two. We do the same here. Diagonal out one, two. So we should have two there. And then this is where we're going to get on with our snow cap. Okay, so we get our snow caps, or if you would like and you want to make it easy, you can use the quartz slabs. So I'm going to use the quartz slabs, but if not, we're going to use the snow caps. I'll show you what it looks like after when I'll take it out, but we're going to use this for now. So on top here, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at both sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then after that, we're going to place an extra five. So we're going to use the white concrete again. One, two, three, four, five. And the same at this side, so one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then when we go over the layer, as you can see, you'll have that gap. But obviously with a snow cap, you can afford to do it a little bit different. And so the next layer is going to be level. So we're going to place one on top of it. And then we're going to go one, two, and then another one, two. So we'll do the same at this side. So one, two, one, two. And then the next one will be four, one, two, three, four. Same for this side. One, two, three, four, just on top of the two there, just like that. And the next one will be, um, I think it's 13. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're gonna go over to here, starting from this block where we've got these two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, as you can see there. And then the next one, we're going to have two slabs. So we're going to have one, two, one, two slabs like that. And we are rocking and rolling. Now at the back here, um, we're, this is where we're going to have it sloping down a little bit. We can work with that across here. Now, this is where we're going to have the start of our boat. So what I'm going to do here is I think it's a level lower, I think, but we're going to grab our stone slab place a stone slab one two and we're basically going over the top of all this until we get to the very end which is there we can do the same here so get our stone slab all in there that going across there that across there and across there perfect looking pretty sweet now for this little bit here this is where we're going to start from here so we're going to grab this and bring it across like that as you can see, it should be level with our first bit. And then we're just gonna fill this bit all in. So we can get the quartz. You can use whatever you like, because we're actually gonna put some stuff over this. So if you want a, a different tint to your boat or a different color that kind of comes through for the top decking, uh, you can do that, because we're actually gonna use some iron trap doors just to kind of give it a fancy look sort of thing. So once we've done that, we've placed that there this is where we are going to place our extra place one quartz slab just there and then we're going to go so that's one three and then five just like that and then we're going to go in here quartz slab in and then we're going to get, grab our black stained glass one two three and then another three on top of it so we should have something like that and then the next, we're going to go back, a diagonal back, one, two, and do the same at this side. So one, two, just like that. And then the next layer, let me just take a look. So we've got the one there, and then we're going to go diagonal out on this top one. We're going to do the same here. So that's classed as one so far. And then two, three, four. 
two, three, four. So there should be four altogether on that glass panel. Now underneath here, we can put three starting from the back of the boat. One, two, three. And then we do the same underneath this one here. So one, two, three, just like that. And then we've got this little gap way so we can actually get down into the boat. Perfect. Now on top of here, this is where we're going to grab our slab or grab our, yeah, I think we're just gonna use this slab, but I'm gonna use the stairs here, I think. So we're gonna have the stair there and a stair there, quartz stair. And then we're gonna grab our quartz slabs, one, two, three. One, two, three each side, one there, one in the middle. And then we're going to have this as a stair either side. And then of course this one here. So we're gonna go up to our next level. So behind these here, we're gonna put three, go diagonal, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, just like that. And then we've got our top level. And then this is where we can start to um, layer it on top. So on top of the glass we've placed, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now at the back here, one, two, and another one, two there. Looking pretty nice. And what we can do here is we can grab our stairs going down. So we've got one stair there, one stair there. And I think I do another stair going down. And what you can do, because we're gonna we have some more boat space underneath, but for now we can leave that. Now at the back here, I'm just gonna have a little check what it looks like. So we've got two there, and then think from here, one, two, three, four, five. And this is where we're gonna get our iron trap doors. So we get an iron trap doors, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Perfect, perfecto. And then once we've done that, um, I'm gonna just have a see what I've got at the back here. I think what I did do is I put a stair going up to this point, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, let me have a quick look, I think, yeah. Okay, so I've got a stair going here, and then two stairs. Stair going here, one, two stairs, like that. And then we're gonna grab our quartz block, fill in that bit and that bit there. And we can put a bl two blocks underneath here and then three, one, two, three, just like that, all filling that in. Now this is going to be our floor level. I think I did do it in the diorite. So we're gonna grab some diorite and we're gonna fill in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Bring it all the way back to this point here. In fact, I might bring it to this point here. So we've got it all back there. And then on the inside, obviously we've got this. I'm gonna bring this block back and this block back. So it just kind of conceals it in, it's all nice. And then across the top here, I think what I did do is I got some normal blocks like that. And then I got some blocks of the andesite or a gray block of your choice. I'm gonna put that either side like that. We've got our trap doors, one, two, three, above at the top of there. Uh, so we've got that all filled in. I think that one does come down a bit more, but we have got an undercarriage underneath here. So we're gonna work on the other bit, but so far I think we've got something quite nice. Um, so on top here, let's have a little look. Now this is where we just get up. So we're gonna put one, two, three there. One, two, three. And then back here we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, I think. One, two, three, four, five, making sure it's center with there. We're gonna have a quartz stair facing out like that. And then you can grab something like maybe a dispenser or something like this, and then poke it out that way. So once you've done that, we can actually fill in the rest with our iron trap doors up here. And this is just kind of for our jetting. So as you can see, if you did a different color underneath there, um, you'd see that different color through these trap doors here. So we've got that top bit. Let's work on the underneath, I feel we should. So um, shall I use some night vision maybe? Maybe I should. Right, okay, so we've got that and underneath here. Let's do this. So underneath here, as you can see, we've got this gap and we're just gonna go underneath where that is and bring it all the way to the back of the boat. So we should have that. And then we can do it from here now. So underneath here, it'd be just starting from this point and this point 
and we can bring this back to the end of the boot just like that and do the same with this one hopefully I'm explaining okay um, I kind of want a flat surface at the bottom so we can kind of work with it a lot easier now for this bit we we'll start from here this time and then bring it all the way back and you kind of see the pattern that's emerging from it so we've got that there and then the same at this side so obviously where it just starts there and we're just basically covering those gaps in bring it back there and same with this one so bring it back to here bring it all the way back until we go in there and the same with this one just at the side there and bring it all the way back to here so we've got a nice flat surface to work from now underneath the boat I'm just going to change the time again underneath the boat if you want to add a little bit extra you can start from here maybe this point bring it all the way back with just the one and bring it about to there not to the very last point because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab something like a hopper and just stick it on the back there like that now for this bit underneath here you can start from about here put one two out maybe one two and then bring it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then go in one two three four five so same level with that so one two three four five and then go out one two three four five six seven just bring it all the way back to there you can leave that gap in there if you want to save some resources but I'm just gonna fill it all in hopefully you can see but underneath the boat not many people are going to see it too much and then for the very 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 last one we're going to place a block there bring it all the way back like this just to the bottom of the boat and as you can see it's got a nice shape to it uh, but if you don't like that shape I think it looks pretty perfect pretty dead on and yeah so if you want to add more details underneath the boat just like silly little things you can add here with some trapdoors and stuff and um, you can do that now at the back here what we can do is we can grab our normal glass we're going to do some normal glass with that but i'm going to go on this die right here so we're going to go up with the die right so that's how we get into the building we're going to place that across here like that and then i'm going to put um think another layer of die right here and then block this up like that another layer of die right there and then we can have a staircase coming down from here and then we go for another layer of diorite across this bit and then just fill in all this just like that and then across the whole back of the boat if you would like you can do another layer but I think that should be enough um, yeah and just put something like this going down if you want to put another layer there you can do that and then at the back here we can put some iron and stuff but I think that should be okay we can grab some glass now and we'll grab our iron bars now across the back I'm gonna put some glass so we don't fall off and then put some iron bars as well it just combines into the glass I think it looks okay we're gonna have this coming up here and round obviously this bit here you can put another staircase here just so you can kind of get into it a little bit easier so put our staircase there that's looking nice now underneath the boat at the back here we've got this staircase that goes down one extra we can place this in here and this in here so we can put that staircase underneath and then we can fill in these blocks here if you want to fill this bit in underneath here like that you can do that just fill it to the back here just so it kind of fills in that little gap now we can have some gap it doesn't matter so much but we've got that so we can get out of the place and then when we want to get back up into the boat into the main lodge of the boat we can go up here perfect let's have a little look around the boat it's looking pretty classy pretty awesome so far kind of like it and um, so there's just kind of like details that you can add now um, right let's have a little look so for detail let's get some cobblestone maybe put a cobblestone at the back here if we take these three off here we can place a cobblestone in fact we could just take it off the whole back there so we've got that 
and we could have just the one there and then that coming up so it's kind of like an antenna which is quite good looks quite nice we've got that bit and um, you can add loads of little details at the back like this kind of thing do you know what I mean to try and add a bit more to the build so putting some stairs there it just makes that little tiny block there it looks quite good and then if you want what you can do is just kind of mess around with it a little bit you know you can put some little bits in if you want to add like some different colors in this is probably the place that you could do it so if we grab some black blocks What's that? got some black block in there just to add a little bit to the bow and it's not too too much so people can go a bit overboard what you can do is you can fill in like all that if you would like if you want to add a bit to it so I'll give you an example here so you said that you don't want that big gap in here you could use some black to fill it all in like that and then you could go into the next layer and fill that in if you want it all the way to the back here you could have it there so it just adds a bit to the bow if you want it all the way around the bow you can do that as well so you could add this bit in here you've got that at the front we'll just see what it looks like we'll experiment a little bit if you don't like it you don't have to do it and um, it's just kind of a, a little example of what you can do but something like that is quite nice I kind of like it and if you want to add like little details to it you can add like little buttons and stuff and I guess you could put some banners on it and stuff like that now up the side here you could have this going up here so it separates that black point there like that and then across here you could get something like let's get the stone I think that might work a little bit better get like a stone point here 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 maybe one at the front so it's adding a little bit to it I think it looks quite cool I'm not really a big boat person I don't know much about boats so um, I'm just going with what looks cool to me I mean if you want to add some signs and stuff you can add some signs if you want to add like little bits of detail um, like I don't know an observer block just randomly there it's like a boat signal I don't know I, re um, I really don't know we could do that for the captain's lodge maybe and that one there indicating some boat signaling of some form and then we could put these at the side here maybe some droppers we could get some levers get some levers crunch down put it on the observer block I mean we could go crazy and get a bit of redstone blocks so we've got like flashing points in here as well so put those on and uh, we've got our captain seat get our little captain seat there and then at the side you can have like I don't know you can put little stairs at the side like that maybe get um, a quartz slab put it on the side there I mean you can make it so it's usable and um, you could put some broom stands in there so have this as like a brewing boat that's something keep all your brewing stuff down there but I think something like that you get the idea and um, now for at the back here what you can do is maybe put something like a redstone lamp I don't know what it'll look like on the outside yeah something like that and then what you can do is put a leather or leather even at the back there it opens up the window as well so I don't know if you want something like that it's alright I wonder if I get a nice I think the iron door on this would look good um, can we get another lever outside we'll probably do something like that yeah we get them both on either side look at that Boom. so you can have something like that as an opening mechanism I think that opens that but doesn't open the door uh, but something like that I think would be quite good and um, to add different details say that you wanted this to come round and then you could add stair blocks around this bit here just like that to add more detail to the back of the boat and then underneath here you can obviously do whatever you like if you wanted to kind of separate this part so this compartment underneath here you could have as a captain's quarters or something some little shelf in here where you could keep your chests and stuff get some chest there and um, you can fill this in you can even have some chest behind here let's see if I remove those yeah I can have chest there 
and of course we need to light up the place you can light it however you like I think we can get away with putting some underneath here so we've got like a little trapdoor lever leather I don't know how you guys say it put some carpets down in there I mean you could have a back bedroom um, so you put one in there let's get the beds out BED let's get a bed in here I think I'm gonna have a three bed and then um, with this quartz um, slab maybe and we could still get in no maybe we want to keep it like that so like something like this you could um, you could maybe have that as a, a block to let a bit of light in so you can see underneath the seat if you wanted to do that and um, so you've got that as an option I will definitely be putting a torch at the back here I think in fact let's try I just want it right at the back there and then I can put something like a trap wooden trap door just to hide it away just like that so it lets a little bit of ambiance you could have two separate beds there and then you could decorate it with whatever you'd like so if you wanted flower pots at either side with some bush and stuff and then I don't know could you could we get away with putting these at the side like little windows so you could have so you can actually see out into the sea um, I think we'll keep that there but we can remove this on the inside and, we can, uh, and then we can use that as a usable space but those two windows there I think we can get away with that and that there that there I don't know if you wanted to add some bush in there to make it look I don't know a little bit more usable and then we could get some carpets down in our yacht because we're just royal like that you know get some red carpet down in there I think I'm gonna go for the three bed though oh I don't know what that was and um, three bed there and then you can have some furnaces in here as well at the back maybe you want some furnaces in here so you can have it as usable space and um, but yeah I don't really know how yachts look but obviously we need this space to get up onto this bit out here let's get my time set but I'm kind of happy with that and um, I don't really like the window of how it looks on the outside so I'm gonna remove that bit but you guys can choose to do whatever you like with it you can extend the nose a little bit if you'd like and just put a bit out I think that's looking good though I'm kind of liking it and um, that's nice we can get onto it at the back like that um, I think we could get away with just an extra one there maybe nah. maybe something like that if you wanted to add a bit to it like that so it doesn't look it's a bit more sloped at the back but um, I kind of like that it's alright I think I might put some flower pots out here just to decorate a bit just why not so we've got that I mean if you want and uh, if you want some deck chairs out here you could always um, do something like this you've got like little chairs at the side put them in different things but yeah you can do whatever you like with it but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure you slap that like button and um, make sure you check out that one that one will be on the screen right about now but hopefully you enjoy your new yacht I'm almost addicted I shall catch you in the next video peace that took a while